All right, I'm going to take you through my construction of a fluidization chamber for powder coating. I'm using just stuff I picked up at Home Depot and Star Nursery. You start out with a female 2-inch adapter, male 2-inch adapter, 2-inch plug. This uh, smooth to threaded 2-inch adapter, a cap for that. From Star Nursery, this little valve, some PVC glue, and a drill. Okay, to start off, we're going to take and we're going to glue the plug into the bottom of the male adapter using just some PVC glue. Make sure you get a nice thorough coat all the way around because this has to be airtight. Glue, just squeeze it together, and that's done. Now we're going to take the female adapter and this smooth to thread adapter, and we're going to glue those together like so. Okay, this is going to add some length to the chamber and also give us a way to cap this off so we can just keep the powder coat in it. So again, the PVC glue, a nice good thick layer of it. Make sure you don't miss any spots. Push the two together and there's that. Okay, that should be it for the PVC glue for now so we can cap that and put it away. All right, now this is essentially the entire chamber. Um, this is where your um, your air diffuser will go and that's going to be made out of just some lunch bags, some paper lunch bags. So you'll put that over there, then you'll screw this together. And down here on the bottom, this is your air chamber and up here is your powder chamber and here's where you'll dip. And when you're not using it, you'll then be able to take and screw this in keep your powder nice and dry. Okay, so there's essentially it. So now what we have to do is we have to put a little air valve in the bottom here. So we're going to drill a hole here in the side of the air chamber. And then we're going to take, and let's see if I can zoom in on this. Okay, you see the, the barbs on, a, on this valve? We're going to trim those barbs off with an X-Acto knife so that the shaft is just one diameter and then we'll glue that into the hole that we make in the side here okay so i'm gonna drill the hole Okay, there's our hole, and then I'm going to get an X-Acto, and I'm going to trim off the barbs from this little valve. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'll come back and show you what I have. Okay, so I have trimmed that with my X-Acto knife. Let's zoom in on this. And here's the original, I guess I need to change sides of the camera here. No? Alright. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see the barb on that. Okay, that's before. That's after. You notice it doesn't have to be anything perfectly clean. But you don't want to take so much material off that it's going to be a loose fit. You want this to be really, really tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, Q-tip and we're going to put some of the blue PVC glue around this barb. And then I'm going to shove it in the hole in the air chamber right here, okay? So. And to do this, rather than using that big old wand that it comes with, Q-tip. All right. 
You gotta move fine, uh, fairly quickly because this is a uh, fairly hot glue and it'll dry f pretty fast. So there's the glue. Okay. I want to bury it all the way down to its seat. Okay. There we go. Now, if you look at the top of that, um, sorry about the lighting, it's terrible here. You can see the little arrow. Okay, in line means it's wide open. 90 degrees means it's fully closed. All right. So now all we have to do is zoom out. Okay, we we'll put our paper filter here. Screw this together. And we are ready to uh, work this. Now, what you do is you open the top, you'll fill your chamber, oh, to about the level of black, uh, maybe a little higher with your powder coat. And then you connect this to a fish pump. You can get them for like six, seven dollars at Walmart, with a little bit of fish hose. And you turn the pump on, and then you start dialing up your air. And if basically the powder coating is bouncing out the top of your, your chamber, you have too much air pressure. So lower it down. Now some guys, they get it and they get this really nice rolling boil. Um, I don't ever seem to get that. I get uh, either volcanoes or it looks like it's standing still. But I take a, a small stick and I put it in there and stir it around and it feels like there's absolutely no resistance and that's about what you want. So there you have it, my, uh, my version of a liquidific liquidification chamber for powder coating. Really simple, costs maybe six, seven, eight dollars, something like that. All right, have a good day.